Yo, what's going on YouTube? I just had to take some clothes upstairs and I'm just getting ready to head into the gym for Saturday Metcon. Today is going to be a full day of eating, but it's going to be a full day of eating to show you guys what I do prior to a photo shoot. I've got a photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm going to be sort of keeping my food bang on track and trying to sort of make sure that everything's super tight and super clean. And I'm also going to be heading to Dublin later and I'm going to be eating now. So I'm going to show you guys what I do there and show you guys how I pick or what foods I pick when I'm eating out and I'm trying to stay on track. This is going to be a bit of a two-day vlog, so I'm going to film today, which is Saturday, and tomorrow, which is Sunday, and show you a little bit about what goes on on a clothing photo shoot. I'm shooting with an Irish clothing brand called New Dimensions. They have a, it's an Irish fitness clothing brand, and uh, yeah, I got a message on Instagram during the weekend. They asked me, would I be interested in doing a photo shoot with them? So I was like, absolutely. So I had to tighten things up immediately. <laughs> with my diet and had to get on the cardio and all that sort of jazz so this week has been a little bit sort of strict in terms of food and in terms of dieting and cardio and training and all that sort of jazz but yeah photo shoot tomorrow going up to Dublin today to stay for the night myself and Viv are going to stay in the Ashling Hotel I just booked it last minute save us driving up to Dublin super early in the morning tomorrow morning Viv was actually supposed to have a photo shoot with one fit which got cancelled because apparently it's going to be really bad weather tomorrow fortunately my shoot is indoors so yeah my thing's still going ahead so we're going to go up to dublin make the most of the day make the most of the night in the hotel and then have a little day around dublin tomorrow so yeah listen stay tuned and uh stick with me the whole day i just came upstairs to fill up my bottle for my training this morning so this is what i use intro workout so i use this essential amino acids the only reason i used this particular one was because it was on sale and i got it for cheap so yeah i got that one and i'm also using five grams of creatine monohydrate that's going straight into the bottle and i'm going to be drinking that as i train this morning in apex i, know you're, I don't know how you're sitting so close to the wheel i i have to my legs are shorter than yours if me to crash, you would fall on headbutt that too. Right? My, my, <coughs> the tor uh, my torso would probably be eating that on top of that. <laughs> She's so close. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, because I can't, like, my legs are too short. Anyway, we're just on our way to Dublin. Um, it's what time is it? About three o'clock? Um, I didn't get to film too much in the gym at all because. Oh, did you have your camera in this morning? No, I didn't. I didn't bring this camera in. I just brought my iPhone with me. Oh, right, okay. But there was too many people in the background, and I only got a couple of snippets from my Instagram, like sort of portrait. Is it portraits then? Portrait. Portrait. Landscape portrait. So that I could cut the people out in the background. So what I'll do is I'll link that video, or that workout that we did this morning, I'll link that here. Um, and you guys can give it a try. It's on my Instagram if you guys want to give it a crack. Just on our way to Dublin. We've packed it. They said that she didn't want to ever get ready that quick again, even though she had pretty much all day, didn't you? Yeah, but I, I just think it's better when you're prepared the day before because I can plan what I want to wear. I was just stressed and I didn't know what I wanted to wear. So she thinks that stressful. planning to what to wear the day beforehand and then just being ready to go. I'm very stressed. Bad move, bad move. So we're just on the way to the Ashling Hotel in Dublin and I'll show you guys uh, the hotel when we get there. Apparently it's a nice hotel. Hit us up in the comments if you stayed there before. Um, it's around. I haven't, even seen the I haven't even had a chance to look my phone and see pictures. The pictures do look nice. Um, but yeah, it's around the sort of, what would you say, Phoenix Park area? Yeah. It's around keys. that area. The Keys. Somewhere on the Keys. It's in it's close to the city centre. Near the Guinness factory. Where? Near the Guinness factory. Near the Guinness factory. Or near the Guinness storehouse, anyway. Yeah. It's right you know what they Guinness storehouse. <laughs> Pint of vitamin G. Seal. Seal. Yeah, so as if the room has been clean enough. That's, That's nice. Happy days. <laughs> stuck with oh, earbuds in this. What did they give you? Earbuds. Earbuds? What else did they give you? Hand gel. That's okay. Cute. Happy oh. days. Here we go. In the room. Basic bitch room. There's not much to show you guys. Check on the lights. Is the lights on? Okay. So that's pretty much it. Bed is here. <laughs> Bathroom is here. My pee! I didn't hear any that. No. I'm reversing. No. Quick. Okay. Okay. 
Here's your little bathroom tour. It's n listen, look, I always feel like weird when people are like bathroom tours, but it's literally just a basic hotel bathroom. Is there toothpaste? No, we need toothpaste. No, we need to get toothpaste. Okay, anyway, whilst Faith is the toilet, I'm gonna just take all my kit out of the bag, hang some shit up because we're gonna go for dinner later. Well, we're gonna go out for a little wander now. We have a place called Featherblade booked for later, which is a very nice uh, steak restaurant. But if we do find something whilst we're already out, we're probably going to eat whilst we're already out rather than going out, moseying around, coming all the way back to the hotel and then going out again. Um, our reservation with Featherblade is for 9 o'clock, which is kind of late. That's kind of shit. But um, look, we'll make do. We'll show you guys anyway, regardless of what we do. So, so actually, I wanted to show you guys. I just brought some protein bars with me just in case, an extra protein shake, so I'm going two Quest bars, I bought these in the garage on the way up, they are really really nice, the Optimum Nutrition Whey Crisps, uh, this Carb Killer, I got that, and then a high protein bar, I've got some Shock Suez, what else do I have, I have my laptop because I have to do a little bit of work today, you ready to rock? Yeah, Do you want to show us your new bag Viv? Yeah. Are you going to show us your new bag? Yeah, this is the new baby, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Very nice, very nice. She won't even tell you how much it costs because it disgusts you as much as it disgusted me. Here, it's the first expensive bag I've ever bought, to be fair. And you saved for a very long, very yes, long time. Yes, Give us a quick twirl. Here, come to the side of me. So we're just after leaving the hotel. The hotel is like diagonal back there, if you can sort of see that building there. And we are, we're down at the same, sorry for the noise, it's too windy, but we're down beside the Guinness storehouse, or the Guinness factory. like on and off showers here it's it's crazy we've just come to Dunn's right and there's like a really cool sushi there's really cool like ready to go sushi bar here and we're just after getting a few bits here we're both hanging let me show you what we got so we picked up Viv is on the quest yeah addiction. I'm on the quest buzz she's on the quest buzz but this is what we got look so we got a spicy tuna crunch roll we got this like cheap selection. We've got this one, which is spicy salmon roll, and then you got what did you get? Uh, spicy. A spicy prawn tempura roll. Very nice. So we're gonna share them all. We just got back. Well, no, we didn't get back. We got back a little while ago, but we we're just chilling out. Viv has got herself a nice little. Well, she's got herself a nice little setup here. A little bag of pick and mix and some vino, and I'm <laughs> I'm on the protein bar buzz because. I've got this shoot tomorrow. Are you decent? Yeah. We're just getting ready to go out, aren't we? Yeah. Viv has to do her makeup again, and I just have to get ready. Well, I was just doing a little bit of work on the laptop there. But yeah, we just moseyed around town for a little while. We went for sushi. What else did we do? What? Sushi was very, very nice. I don't know if you guys knew about this, but we, when we were in the States, there's a place called Ralph's. And it's kind of like super value here in Ireland, but it has like loads of different food counters. And one of those food counters is a sushi counter. And it is so, so good. It's like fresh, like there's chefs behind there and they're like chopping up fresh sushi to go. And it's so, so good. But they had a similar counter to that in Dunn's in the ILAC. Is it the ILAC, Viv? Uh, yeah. Yeah. In Dunn's stores. In Dunn's stores in the ILAC. And the sushi, well, it was, it was in a fridge, so it was kind of cold. But it was still delicious. If it was oh, root, it was Jervis. It was, was it Jervis? No, Jervis is the, Jervis is the other place with Bershka. Are oh, you sure? Hundred percent. Oh, okay, okay. So it was the Ilac. It was Duns in the Ilac. It was the one with Debenhams in it. Okay. Duns in the Ilac. So if you're a fan of sushi, 
Actually, if you're a fan of sushi, comment below and let me know. But if you're a fan of sushi and you're on the hop and you don't want to go in and have like a sit down, like a proper sit down sushi meal, highly, highly, highly recommend going to that sushi bar. It's called Sushi Gourmet, I think. Yeah. Or Gourmet Sushi, I can't remember what it's called. But it's a little on the go sushi bar and I would say that during the day they're making that sushi fresh. Like I'd say there's people behind the counter like killing it behind the counter doing, doing the sushi all day. But yeah, we just moseyed around mango for about a billion hours. Didn't even. You're so dramatic. No, I was just saying. They, okay, so comment below and let me know if this is mental, right? But. Oh, and Aaron's a liar. Yes. Comment below if what? Aaron's a liar. Listen, right? So we were in Mango anyway, and Viv is doing a thing looking around or whatever, right? The exit is obviously downstairs, but the counter to pay is upstairs at the very back of the shop. I was just going, like, what the hell is this place? It seemed like a lifetime. Anyway, Viv got herself a nice little... What'd you get, Viv? Uh, a jumpsuit and a blazer. A jumpsuit and a blazer. No, I only got it because you were like, buy something here so I can put my 7-Up in your bag. No, it's your 7-Up. <laughs> you didn't want to carry your 7-Up. I was carrying that 7-Up in my jacket pocket and it's full, along with your rain jacket, so my whole shit was getting weighed down. So I wanted Viv to buy something that I, so I could put it into the bag. Anyway, we're just getting ready and we're going to head. Well, I'm actually going to drive, obviously, because I'm not drinking. Um, so we're going to drive over to Featherblade. We were going to get a taxi, but then I realised, well, what's the point? Because I'm not drinking and I can drive. Just got into town. Look at this one. Look. She's so tired. She's so tired. And she's wearing the heaviest boots on the planet. Poor girl. But yeah, so... We were just talking as we were going around, right? So we drove through town to uh, get the feather blade. But on the way, there was so many bars open. And yeah. It did not look like there was any social distancing whatsoever. Like people just standing outside smoking just as if nothing was going on. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. crazy. As I was saying, there didn't seem to be any social distancing outside these pubs no. whatsoever or inside them for that matter and you could see in the windows i think all of these pubs up here in dublin are just doing like deals like a like a pizza like a share pizza and you can just come in and I just drink as normal heard of those people that are getting like the pub bonus are going buying shippers no way also this place i had the best burger of my life the ivy has this i just had to say to you what uh, monica said she got a wagyu bur wagyu meat in aldi what yeah no I said way. about it, and she's like, oh, I actually got Wagyu meat in Aldi, that was in England, so I don't know if you can get it here. No way. Anyway, you get the best Wagyu beef burger in this place. It's so, so good. So, there's, there's the Ivy, and where we're going is this place that's right beside Marco Pierre White's. It's just here in the corner, so see that little sort of navy. What? It's very old. Around here, yeah, we definitely fit around this area a lot. Well, we used to, we actually used to come in here loads when we were uh, when we were living in Dublin. But this is Featherblade. So this is the way the Featherblade is at the moment. There's no actual menus, so obviously use the QR code here. And then just next so much for. Just next so much for. So use the QR code. So what you do is you take a picture. Obviously, you open your camera with your phone. QR code comes up, and then this little thing says open and then the menu pops up so what do we have oh my god steaks wagyu ribeye oh wow it cost like 500 euro 22 euro i'm gonna have to do that that's like not a bad oh man i'm gonna have to do that somebody said and was it sonia that said that this place had like the best mac and cheese yeah so check this out, right? So this is the menu starters. Short rib, croquettes, scallops and chorizo, I think I'll get that. Feather blade, wagon rib, I hand saying get that. And I think I'm gonna do charred broccoli as a side. Let's see if they have any extras. And okay, that's just our wine list. Oh my god. So there we go. This is the Wagyu ribeye. And then we've got the feather made that looks, that actually looks delicious. Got some chips, got some pepper and sauce, a little bit of salad, and I got some char grilled broccoli. See if it's, it's 
supposed to be cooked medium. What's it like? Nice. Well, what'd you think of that? Yeah. Unreal. I have pain so That Wagyu steak was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And also, they forgot I my think prawns. It's not okay for Wagyu, <laughs> no, it's just so tender and it's like super, super juicy. It's the best steak ever. Also, I feel like my face is like super dark here, but we're just going through a little bit of a, a dark patch in the road. So bear with us. Just got back to the hotel room. And we're chilling, watching Iron Man. I was just saying, as it got hella dark, that steak was unbelievable. And the prawns that I got with the steak, they actually didn't come with the steak at the very start. I think they forgot them, but they gave them to me after. Oh my god. You tried them, didn't you? Sorry? You tried them. Oh prawns. yeah, they were like really like nicest the nicest prawns I've ever had. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah. That's two meals in the last like two weeks that I'm like, that's the nicest thing I've ever had. That Wagyu burger and then that steak and prawns was just delish. Anyway, I'm gonna sign out from this vlog tonight. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what we do on the shoot tomorrow, so stick with us and I'll catch you guys in the morning. I just got into the city and Viv just dropped me off. I'm on Georgia Street, just right across from Yamamori. It's a sushi place and it is so good. So I'm just on my way. I'm waiting for Jeff, who is the guy who owns uh, New Dimensions. So my plan is just to go down to this bar here on the corner, grab a bottle of water, probably grab a coffee. And yeah, I think Evan's studio is somewhere here on George Street. I don't really know where it is. This place, by the way, if you get a chance to go to this place, it's called Pip Brothers, right? It's a barbecue place. If you get a chance to go here, it is delicious. And there was another, oh yeah, that place over there. Me and Viv have been here before. And it is such a nice Mexican restaurant. Um, and then Yamamori. They've also got a Yamamori on this side of the road too. What? Yeah, so um crust. Oh best cronuts in Ireland. Crust. Might be popping in there after this photo shoot. Get a cronut. I've never actually had a cronut. So might be worth trying. Get myself a bottle of water too. Because I feel like a raisin. Oh Bunsen's here. My client Claire is always talking about Bunsen. I have never had a Bunsen burger. But apparently it is the dog's bollocks. So yeah, might go on a little food tour of Dublin later.
There we go. Photo shoot done. No, I didn't do anything. I just sat there. we have just chilled. So where are we going? Where are we going? I'm going to get my jacket off Evan and then we are going to get some food. The only thing that I've had so far today is a protein shake and it's now 5 to 4. Yeah, I need to get the car. What? I need to get the car. You need to get the car. We have come all the way down to Grand Canal Dock area to hit this place called Brew Dogs because everywhere else is... It's, no, it's not stupid, it's just closed. We were looking for... Well, Viv had a... Yeah, I suppose my shoot they take a long time, but Viv had a hankering for pancakes, didn't you? Yeah. And now she can't get pancakes, which is very sad, but listen. There's salted caramel something or other on the menu here, isn't there? Yeah, there's like a sundae. I'll get that. Salted caramel sundae. <laughs> yeah, whatever Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we're going in here, brew dogs. This big red building down on the docks. This is the brew dog menu. Burgers. What else is there? Is there wings? There it is. Some wings. Got pizzas. Some salad bowls. Loaded fries. What are you thinking? Everything. <laughs> everything? Everything. Give me one of everything. What do you think? I don't know actually. I was thinking about a burger, but then that buffalo chicken burger sounds unbelievable. Oh, yeah, it does. Or that blackened Cajun chicken bowl. But then again, do I want a salad just after having. Salad all week. Having been tight on my diet all week. So, Viv has just got herself a nice little glass of rose. Look at this cool glass, though. All right. Okay. So it tells you all the um, things that you would put in that glass bit. Mm. That's cool. And I, I got. See what they got. I did, yeah. Okay. And I got this. They've got their own sugar-free Coca-Cola, Fritz Cola. And I've been dying for a fizzy drink all day, so I've knocked it. And I've got some agua. And this beautiful view. Lord. Fuck at that for a burger. We got that to share. We did get that to share. No, but not for pizza. Oh yeah. So we got the loaded fries. Very spicy. I got the spicy pizza. And then Viv got this monstrous. It's called what is it? Cluck Norris. This is mm -hmm. burger. And it's southern fried chicken, avocado. Looks like the business, doesn't it? How's the chicken? Very spicy, but it's nice. Is there? Yeah. yeah. Wow. What's the burger like? Unreal. Nice? Look at the size of it. So, what is in it? It's avocado. It's avocado, some sort of Cajun mayo, onion, buttermilk chicken. This, they were saying this is actually spicy. It's not mental spicy. Like, if you've ever had like Frank's hot sauce, Frank's hot sauce like. That's exactly, it's pretty much Frank's hot sauce on wings or on chicken on top of the chips. That's pretty much it. Also, there's dogs in here too. Do you want ketchup? Um, no, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. We just stopped in at Storm of the Teacup. The ultimate cheat. And we got two oh, I don't Kinder. I finish half of this. It's so dense. Like What is this called? Kinder? Kinder, Kinder Surprise or something? Kinder something or other. But it is so Kinder good. Unreal. Kinder Unreal. So there's like ice cream, if you can see, and then there's a layer of Kinder, and then they put Kinder bars all broken up into it, and then more ice cream, then more Kinder Basically, sauce. Basically, it's going to make you fat. This is fatness in a cup. Yeah. After our fatness, mega fatness dinner, isn't it? I actually didn't eat that much. We actually didn't. We actually took, we have a box here in the back, if you can see it. It's a pizza box. That has our leftovers in it. This has been our ultimate cheat day, hasn't it? Before you're going back to work. Oh, after I've my photo work. shoot. Huh? I've had worse cheat days. You've had worse, worse cheat days. We actually haven't had a whole pile. We just had that one big meal and then this ice cream. I had meat all day after that big meal. I had a protein bar in the morning. But to be fair, I'm dying to just go home and chill and watch Harry Potter. But I have a bit of work to do before I chill out for the night. Bugbeak is kicking off here, boy. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> watching. Well, I'm not. This is my online coaching, but we're also watching Harry Potter. Let me pause this. Or turn it down. I nearly got a hell of cramp on my quad there. Oh my god. We just polished off the food that we took home from Brew Dogs. And we've got some randoms, some Harry Bow Tantastics. We are set up. That was an epic cheat day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was cool. To finish off. Didn't get my pancakes. Ah. Didn't get your pancakes? Yeah. Oh. Viv is devastated that she didn't get any pancakes today. Why did you why did you want pancakes anyway? Why I was, was just it? craving it, I don't know why. Shut up. We get to move him. Anyway, thus concludes my two day vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, comment below, let me know what you thought of the video. Give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And uh Catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.